Unless you got your bullseyes keywords, that forms the very center of your archery target, doesn't it? And so I know that you're thinking what we're going to do is, you must have been following my logic, we're going to draw a circle around that and write down a definition that's somewhat less related to our bullseye and then a circle around that that's less related to our bullseye. Um, but no, we're not going to do that, actually. As a matter of fact, that's the worst thing you could do right now. Because if you think about it, wh why should you aim for anything but the center of the target to start with? Why should you, before you're squarely established in the market, aim for anything but the center? That's what everybody else is doing. And that's why they get lost in the keyword research. What I want you to do, and I'm sorry if I snuck this up on you a little bit. What I want you to do is go and make your keywords work, your bullseye keywords work before you go any further. I know you're thinking, but Glenn, don't I need the long tail? Don't I need to go into each one of the keyword groups like subliminal software, audios, and um, don't I need to expand that to include, you know, subliminal software audios for women, subliminal software audios, you know, for children, subliminal software audios for weight loss. Don't I need to go out and gather, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of keywords to go very deep within each one of those silos? And the answer is that it's being promoted online right now that that's a good idea. And it is and it isn't. And it's really not a good idea in the beginning. And here's why. When you do that, you will get traffic for less money. You will. Because less people are doing that. And um, not that many people are going to be, not as many people are going to be bidding on subliminal software audios for women as just subliminal software audios, right? And so you'll pay less, there'll be a less competitive auction. But the problem is, is that when you're in the beginning, you're going to be developing your advertising. And because AdWords and pay-per-click in general is a very progressively more competitive advertising space, what's happening is people all over the world are joining in and it's getting more and more competitive. So more and more people are going to be adding all of those keywords. So what's going to happen is you're going to temporarily lower the competitive bar when you do that. And you're not going to hold yourself to the same standard that you should when you're developing your advertising. And so you're going to wind up developing advertising that does not meet, it's not going to stand the test of time because as more and more competitors come in, it's going to be harder to keep up with them because you were banking on the fact that not that many people would be going against you. And I prefer a philosophy of going straight for the gold. Look, these are the bullseye keywords. This is what everybody knows are the bullseye keywords. Let's figure out how to write the best ad for that. Let's figure out how to build the best advertising system for that so that anything else that we do is going to be most powerful and we're not going to have to worry as much about the competitors because I want you guys to build on rock and not sand. I want you guys to know you have a solid foundation when you take the time to put together a project. So what I want you to do is stop here and go make your bullseye keywords work before you go any further. Once you've done that, once they're working, you know, at least break even or actually if it's an affiliate product that you're promoting, if you're making it work and you're, you know, making 60 or 70% of the money back, then you can make an argument to say that, well, this would be profitable if you had your own product, so you might want to go make your own product. But um, once, the key, once the keywords look like they're profitable, break even or profitable, then what you can do is go out and go deep, pick up longer tail phrases, which will lower your bid costs. That's what we just talked about. And you can also go wide. And you can do a lot of this for free within Google itself. And there's an advantage to getting started like that because Google's tool is based upon what Google knows people click on who also click on your ad. Google has a lot of information about what people are doing online. And when you expose them to actual behavior, in other words, they've seen a few hundred people who click on your ad and they know what else they're clicking on and they know what other ads are appearing in that competitive environment and what words are in those ads and what words are in their search engine results when people click, you know, that are next to them. They know an awful lot about what's influencing that behavior. And so you can use the keyword tool within Google to go wide. That's going to be much better than you guessing in the absence of that 
behavioral data. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you. So I really want you to bite the bullet and whoops. <laughs> well, I want you to bite the bullet and stop. I want you to stop here and go make it work.